The inspiration was at the Renaissance period. It's about the changing times and attitudes, um, the idealism and the fluidity. The starting point of the collection was actually going back to the roots of Thea, and the original Thea Bride was a destination bride. So our bride is heading to warm, sunny climates. The girls are very confident, and they want to make a statement. I designed for three different collections, Haley Page, Jim Helm by Haley Page, and Blush by Haley Page. And it's super exciting to tap into different egos and personalities, so that's a really good, fun playground for me. Here backstage at Ravini, we're creating a look that brings Renaissance into 2017. They really wanted something that didn't necessarily scream bridal hair. They really wanted a modern take on something. So we have three on the scalp braids on the side of the head into a really loose, messy textured bun. And I think it's great with the super structure of the on the scalp braids with that loose, messy, light texture onto the right of the head. I think it really breeds the two together very nicely. The inspiration for the whole look was ethereal, renaissance, beautiful skin, very youthful, hydrated but still highlighted. So what we're doing is we're using a shimmer block that we'll be launching soon from Aveda and we're just going to pop it onto the skin. We also used it on the eyes, on the high points of the face and highlight and then right on the top of the pout of the lips. On the lips, we took a little bit of a deep wine tone and just pressed it into the pout of the lips. So that way it looks like she's pretty much been drinking like a goblet of wine all night long. The inspiration was at the Renaissance period. It's about the changing times and attitudes, um, the idealism and the fluidity. This season the materials are a vast array of tools. There's intricate beading, laces, 3D embroideries. There's a lot of texture that we've built through it and details with feathers. In this gown here, you'll see that there's like an, a vast amount of pleated tool and it's all layered to create a voluminous ball gown. I thought Ravini was lovely. I think that she has a real signature style and we saw that today. It's a little bit sexy, form-fitting, but always pretty. and I like that she mixed it up a bit and really gave every ride a little something. A little of Rita's signature style. Depending on which kind of bride you are, I think that you could 
definitely find something in her collection. The Ravini show, she had a variety of looks, lots of capes and things like that. She hit all the points. She goes from classic to sexy. The woman that I designed for is a woman who is confident. She's looking for style, but an extension of who she actually is. She's looking for something that's going to complement and bring out her own personality. My favorite piece is the finale piece. It's a sheer bodice made out of layered lace. With feather textured in the skirt, it's got a high neckline and a bell sleeve. It's quite breathtaking. Today is more of a beach-worn look. It's something just light and glowy, very sun-kissed. It's more on the natural side this time because these brides are meant to be beach brides. <laughs> it's a look that I feel like you'll look back and you'll be like, oh, I was a beautiful bride. I think from the crown design to the hair to the makeup to the gown, it all really flows together really beautifully. The starting point of the collection was actually going back to the roots of Thea, and the original Thea bride was a destination bride. So I decided as we're heading into the fall and the winter, and what was I going to do with the new collection, I thought, I want to escape the winter. So our bride is heading to warm, sunny climates.
wants to get married on a beach, she wants the sun on her skin, she wants to feel the blues of winter behind her and embracing the summer again. The summer we feel sort of a boho, this girl is relaxed, she's on the beach, she's probably had a drink or two before getting onto the beach, she's a party girl. This girl is just really relaxing, she's having a great time and she's ready to commit herself to marriage with this amazing man on this beautiful beach with the sun going down, it's going to be awesome. and her hair is she just got out of the pool, she's getting married, she didn't have time to do her hair, it's still frizzy, it's got beach and salt water in it, she's wearing a flower crown. Dunn was casting the models and we came here and we look at every single models and look at their face and their beautiful feature and this is Talia coming from Australia where well, it's very important, the pearls. So you see that she has pearls in her crown. She'll be the only one who carries the pearls in the crowns. We have Sarah over there, who is going to carry a different crown. So the idea was to be able to reflect the origin of different models into the different crowns. Every single seashells and pearls is glued one by one. And the idea was to be able to create a crown that would not overwhelm the bride, but would make her just like if she was walking on the beach. And even if you can't get there sunny and warm, even the mentality of sunny and warm in your head, even if you happen to be here in New York and can't get there, I hope the feeling of that will be with you on your wedding day anyway. She really is celebrating her wedding, she's celebrating life, and the fabrics themselves are light, they're airy, they're very youthful. using silk mousselines, we used a lot of cotton laces, we moved away from the very rigid, more stiffer formal bridal fabrics and are using soft fluid fabrics. I'm doing a lot of sleeves, which is quite interesting for me, but this younger girl likes big, billowy, flowy sleeves. Everything is flowy and romantic and has movement.
There is one particular dress that we love. We embroidered it with shells and with sequins and pearls. There are seahorses on it, there's shrimp on it, there's little lobsters, there's starfish. It's really beachy, but still elegant. As the dress goes by, you'll see the detail, but from a distance, it just looks like a treasure chest that was opened on the beach, and she just picked it all up and just draped herself in it. That dress is spectacular. It comes from um, Secret Gardens, it comes from children's books, it comes from a place is a magic and uh, fairy tales is existed. The girls are very confident, they are really comfortable with their body and they want to make a statement. She wanted the girls to have this ethereal beauty to them. You know, it's spring, the colors of the collection have a lot of blush and also the rose gold and white. So it's about making the girls look like they come from some other place, like pre-Raphaelite fairies, these beautiful girls from the garden. We're doing moonstone cream on the eyes, then with rose gold over, a bit of black liner. Very subtle, mascara on the top, and then amazing, beautiful skin. It's about building up luminosity with the rose gold shimmer and the champagne pop gold. Just luminous, beautiful girls. I designed for three different collections, Haley Page, Jim Helm by Haley Page, and Blush by Haley Page. Starting with Jim Helm, this season we went with just like a classic glamour. A lot of romance, but something that's a little bit more understated. Blush by Haley Page is a little bit of a little sister to Haley Page. Across the collections, we love using a lot of tool, <laughs> a lot of horse hair. But I think what's really important is to bring novelty in, and that comes with color. And I really wanted to 
bring an effervescence to life, but in a floral, almost boho chic meets capricious fun aspect. Haley Page. And all of your traditional laces. And a lot of different textures. I play into a lot of geometric things, stuff you wouldn't normally see in bridal, but doing it in a still very romantic way. It's really great because you can't be everything to everyone, so when you have a bunch of different aesthetics to go after, you're targeting different demographics. Page kind of had a galaxy theme this season. We were really starry eyed and going for something a little more transcendent. of a written and illustrated book, which is called Property of Good Vibes. We just wanted to spread the love and talk about how the Haley Page Bride really has this amazing sense of spirit. exciting to tap into different egos and personalities, so that's a really good, fun playground for me.